Hello everyone. Happy New Year's Eve and Happy New Year's. My name is Lana Adachi, also known as Lana like Donna that I'll put in the comments so everyone knows how to pronounce my name. And um, on Facebook, you might see it as Lana Blanchett Adachi. Um, Blanchett is my maiden name. I am doing this video, as I said I would, in Rosemary's Live for the last few weeks in regards to my art room makeover. A 9-8 Mary Oh Mary, the Altier, posted a video. Messy Studio Part 1. And of course I watched it. And I'm sorry if I keep looking down. I had to write this out or we might be here all night. So I watched it, and at that time I had already had it in my mind that it was time to make some sense of my art room. Approximately nine years ago, I had a small corner of this room. It was our catch-all room, most of which was my husband's stuff to include a closet that was full of his stuff. He has a hobby also, guitars, amps, pedal boards, etc. He is um, a very talented guitar player and he likes to work on them and make music and sell them. So over time, I gradually moved his stuff out into another room opposite side of this house and started my crazy journey with my hobby, craft, and art. When I saw Mary's video, I said to myself, self, it's time. I was feeling trapped, overwhelmed, and less inspired to create. So from that video forward, my art room makeover began. One wall, one section at a time. Another thing I told myself was self, you will not start any new projects or work on any existing projects until you get this art room done. I had a vision of what I needed to remove or replace to obtain my vision. Every day I would work on this. On September 10th, my husband went for a stress test, which he failed. Um, he called me and told me, and I had to go meet him at the doctor's. And um, from that time forward, he was not allowed to go to work until he saw a cardiologist. Well, the next day, I called 911 because he passed out on me, um, wasn't coming to, went through all of that that day, and it was not until... 922 when he finally got in to see a cardiologist they did a heart cath came out and told me that my husband was lucky he woke up that day he had a 98 percent blockage in his left artery which they call the widow maker and then that afternoon he went in for bypass surgery he ended up having a double bypass because the right artery was also blocked and the reason why I tell you this part is because it is part of my journey to getting this makeover done. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked off my um, notes. So every day, all day, I would be in this room going through everything, sorting, cleaning, moving stuff, painting walls day after day put together two tall bookcases, three bookcases with doors, six pieces of drawer units from Michael's and a desk all by myself because my husband was not able to do any of that. But I was determined to keep moving forward. Fortunately, after a couple of weeks of his recovery, he started cooking, which gave me time to just focus on this room. I would just work nonstop in my room. I have moved the same stuff more times than I care to count. I had stuff in our bedroom, guest bedroom, and I probably trickled some into the living room and dining room 
during this whole process. My treat at the end of the day, as far as being creative and um, doing art, was grabbing my Prismacolor colored pencils. I had probably about 24 or 36 of them. I wasn't big into colored pencils, but I grabbed those in a book that my daughter gave me back in 2016. And I would get up on the bed, turn on my iPad and listen to one of y'all's videos um, and play with colored pencils. And that's what I have been doing for art since I started this art room makeover. Because I need art every day and I had to do something. So it was just easy to pick up the book and the colored pencils and not have to deal with the mess going on in this room. My goal when I started this makeover was to be done by the end of 2021. Well, lo and behold, as of yesterday, I completed it. I have gone through everything at least once, have sold stuff and still have a guest bed full of stuff to list. And the only other task that I want to do is label all my drawers, all my plastic containers, so I don't have to figure out where everything is. I figured as long as I can read, I will know where things are. My goal was to have access to all my stuff without moving stuff around to get to it. Because prior to this makeover, I had to, I had stuff stacked and put behind stuff. And I know some of you out there can relate to that. And my body just can't take any more moving stuff around. I also wanted to cut down on dust and dirt and cat hairs as I have four cats and I also have a dog that's a Maltese that doesn't shed. But anytime that I'm in here, all my pets are in here. So Mary, Tanya, and Lisa. Mary Altier, Tanya McGuire, and Lisa Conway. You guys Posting your videos got me started on this process. I am a loyal, quiet lurker and have been for quite a few years. I hope this video of my makeover inspires someone to do their art space. And for those that have started it, it inspires you to continue. I posted before and during the process pictures on Rosemary Morris's channel, The Rusty Peacock, on her Facebook page yesterday. And now I show you the art room makeover reveal. If you watched all of this or any of it, thank you. If you would like to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button, that would be awesome. One of my goals in 2022 is to come down from the balcony in the lives and say hello. I am working on this. So ladies, bear with me. I'm going to flip this around. What, not gonna let me flip it? Oh, come on.